Welcome back. This is Open Exchange and you're watching us live from the CNBC TV 18 Motilal Oswal studio right here in Mumbai. We're beginning another brand new day of trade and looks like it's going to be a quiet session. We have a market holiday tomorrow as well. But there's FNO expiry, so maybe some volatility towards the end of trade. Uh, but let's get talking to Devin Choksi. He's still with us. Uh, Devin, uh, what are your thoughts on how to approach some of these auto names now? Because, uh, you know, there are a lot of reports about how there's some uh, recovery coming through, especially in the export market. But the numbers are not suggesting that just yet. Would you buy any of these two-wheeler names now in anticipation of a recovery? Or are you still cautious there? So, two-wheelers are already beaten down. And I think uh, if the recovery is genuine and real and sustainable, then possibility of, I think, uh, stock price recovery uh, definitely is uh, asking for it. Uh, in my viewpoint, I think it is still too early to conclude that part that the market demand and the recovery in the export market is fully stabilized. If uh, I think we'll have to wait for a couple of more months, I think, to see actual stability happening. But I think the valuation-wise, they have already come down and they are uh, quite attractive probably, particularly the likes of Bajaj Auto, where it holds maximum amount of promise if the recovery in the export market takes place. However, to be on a safer side, I would probably go with the commercial vehicle, where I see the visibility of at least like three years going forward as far as the demand scenario is concerned. A, I think the higher, <coughs> higher amount of economic activity taking place both in infrastructure as well as in industry. B, the scrappage of vehicle policy is coming into force and as a result of which the additional demand is also coming into play. I would think that uh, along with the costs of uh, production remaining under control due to the metal prices remaining uh, comparatively stable, I would think that uh, commercial vehicle would be one segment which will probably not disappoint investors. It will probably give better, rate, uh, better appreciation in the portfolio within the auto pack. Okay, so commercial vehicles you're saying is the one pocket that will not disappoint. Uh, any <coughs> you know, ideas there? I mean, is it just Ashok Leyland that you plan to stick to or anything else that you like? Because the other commercial vehicle players have, you know, other angles as well, right? I mean, Aisha has Royal Enfield, Tata Motors has its passenger vehicle business. So as a pure play commercial vehicle maker, would you stick with Ashok Leyland? Or are you even looking at, you know, some of these names like, say, a Jamna Auto or something in the broader markets, maybe ancillary companies that cater to this space? Yeah, so an important point, actually. I think your play, Ashok Leyland, definitely is looked into. But uh, even the improvement in Tata Motors' domestic passenger vehicle business, also suggesting that along with the commercial vehicle business, I think Tata Motors should be looked at very favorably from the investment perspective. And not to forget the, some of the uh, key OE, uh, key auto ancillary companies which are catering to OEMs. I think they would remain definitely, I think, uh, the choice to add into the portfolio. Fortunately, they are in the mid-cap space. I am saying fortunately because they are corrected significantly from the price at which they were quoting. To some of them, definitely for sure, and they are available today at a valuation which is not far too expensive, which it was I think earlier. So, from that perspective, too, too I think the downside risk is uh, limited, and I guess I think the commercial vehicle, along with some of the select auto ancillaries, could definitely be the, uh, uh, the the portfolio composition as far as we are concerned going forward as well. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, they will stay with us. You know, let's get some uh, FNO trades out of the way as. Well.